Hi everybody, how's it going? In this video, we are going to talk about overriding. By the way, this video is part of a larger course about Bootstrap Studio. You can find the full course on Udemy or Skillshare. Check out the link in the description. You will no doubt have noticed that many of the styling blocks are locked. In theory, it's possible to edit these, but that's not a good idea. That's because when the Bootstrap framework is updated, you would lose all the changes that you made to these Bootstrap files. Better would be to override them. To override a CSS block, we first need to determine which CSS block to override. So let's start by overriding the navbar brand, which determines the formatting of this element. Select it and pull up the HTML inspector and pull up the attributes tab. We see that the navbar brand has a class attribute named navbar brand. Going to the style tab, we get an overview of all the CSS blocks which affect the navbar brand. We are looking for the one which sets the font color. Scrolling through, we see that it's this one. We cannot edit this block, so we need to override it instead. Click on the three dots in the top right corner and select copy to styles.css. A duplicate appears in the styles.css file. Let's edit the duplicate. Let's repeat this with the remaining elements. The active link has a class name navlink active. Again, we are looking for the CSS block which defines the color. This is the one which we would like to override. In fact, for the active link, let's not only change the font color, but let's also change the background color. We would also like to override the nav links. We would also like to override the drop down item. And we would like to change the background color of the drop down menu. You might be wondering why there are so many attributes in these CSS blocks. This is because not only are the attributes mentioned here, but also the attributes of the parents and the grandparents, etc. So you might be tempted to modify this line to make it a bit simpler, but there's a very big chance that that will mess up the styling which you applied. This is because of what's called specificity. It's a bit beyond the scope of this course to teach you about specificity, but if you're interested, you can check out some extra reading on this website, if you're interested. If not, just continue following along with me. Next, we see that we still have to override this blue color in the icons in the footer. As we scroll through the styles associated with this element, we see that the color is set by a CSS block called A. In CSS, this is actually the styling which is applied to all links. The icon inherits this attribute because the parent of the icon is a link. If we were to override this CSS block, it would change the formatting of all the links in the page. That's obviously not what we want. So in this case, it's a better idea to add one more class attribute named headfoot icon and set the font color in there. And let's add this attribute to each of the icons. 
So in this lesson, we learn to override the locked CSS elements which come with the Bootstrap framework. In the next video, we are going to set the styling for these elements for when we hover over them with a mouse. And we are also going to change the styling of this menu icon, which seems to be very stubborn and needs special attention. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, why not support this channel by liking and subscribing? You can also check out my website for more free stuff. So long for now. See you in the next video. Bye bye.